Rod, talk about the, what this win means and then getting a third shot at Kentucky. Oh, it means a lot. You know, it gives us a lot of momentum. Uh, we're playing well right now. And, you know, guys are stepping up at different times in the game. And uh, I just think it gives us a lot of confidence moving forward. Take me back to the uh, the first half. You've got on a, a streak there the last part of the first half. Started feeling it from three-point range. Yeah, you know, my, my teammates got me ball and, you know, got wide open shots. So I say that's more of them just, you know, finding me and giving me wide open shots. How important was that given that, you know, Kevin was in foul trouble, Dejon was in foul trouble? Oh, well, you know, they, those dudes are in foul trouble. We always got somebody to step up. You know, Kyle stepped up real big and made a, uh, a bunch of shots. And so, you know, that's a good thing about our team. We feel like we have guys that, uh, you know, at any time we step up and make a difference. You guys stretched it out in the second half. Did you did you ever feel safe or were you, were you worried they might make a run? Oh, no, initially, you know, you never can relax or feel safe. You know, they're a good team and, they you know, they go on runs because they, they have great pressure and they push the ball. So, you know, they, uh, they definitely... We, we knew they were alive and come back in the game at any time, so we, we tried to stay on top of things, and you know they got back in it, but you know we just tried to hold them off. Last two minutes was it was it kind of panic mode out there? No, I mean I, I wasn't it wasn't panic mode. I mean you know I missed my free throws and you know that was, that was frustrating, but I don't think anybody was panicking. I think we got a little bit sped up, but you know then we settled down. Kendra made his free throws, Dejon made one, Kyle made a big shot, so I wouldn't say we were panicking. You had two chances to get them this year. You, you feel like you let. Those chances um, get away. Yeah, it was it was two very close games. I felt like we uh, played them tough both times at our place and at their place. And um, hopefully, third time's a charm. You you had the shot at the end of the first game, yeah. right? Is that something that a shooter thinks about? Um, I, I, I thought about it for uh, this is my roommate eating vouch for me. I thought about it for about a week, <laughs> and it was because I thought I was so close. I, when I let it go, I thought it was in, and then my dreams were shattered. <laughs> <laughs> Keith, you talk a little bit about tonight. You, you guys build a big second half lead. Did, did you ever feel safe, or were you worried they might make um, a run? Well, we, we've talked about that when, since we've seen that we was going to play Arkansas. We know it's a big thing that they make runs. They're really good at making runs, and um, we just tried to limit their runs as much as we could. And um, thankfully, the time ran out before you know they could uh, get a get a really good one running. Was that another partial dislocation of the right shoulder? Yeah, that's what it was. I'm First saying, time in about a month, right? Yes, yeah. Thankfully, it's been a while since I've done it, but I mean, I'll be all right. I'll get some ice on it, you know, try to get my strength back into it. So what happened on the play where, where that happened? Um, I drove, I was driving to the left, and I tried to shoot back to the right. You guys feel like this, and how I kind of hit it back this way, and it's really sensitive when it, to this motion at all. It's really sensitive. When I wake up in the morning, do that motion is still really sensitive. So, um, I just have to try to keep strengthening it. That's it.